Shaz Chowdhury, Pep Talk UK, joined on a fine springs morning by an up and coming boxer, a prospect, getting ready for the ABAs, it's Miss Laura Payne. How are you doing Laura? Yeah, all good, thank you. How are you? You alright? I'm always well Laura. Laura, interesting journey so far. Yep. Started off wanting to do a bit of kickboxing, didn't you? I did, yeah. So I went into kickboxing um, and did that for quite a while. I first thought it was just to learn self-defense, to learn a bit of the boxing, the kicking, things like that. Um, then took a shine to it. But when I was entered into the competitions, I was using my hands more than my legs. I was born with dislocated hips, so my legs were terrible. And I was just running in and just trying to hit them over, the, over their legs to like score the points. Um, so I decided to take a back seat on that and just go with my hands. So that's when I got into boxing um, and started off from there with um, a bit of Obviously, it's not good, but it was unlicensed boxing because at the time I didn't know the difference between like you've got the white collar, or unlicensed, then you've got the amateurs and the professionals. So I didn't know the difference between them. I just searched boxing gym near me, went into some white collar, um, did a did, did a little bit there, and then realised that that wasn't the right route. Go to the amateurs and then build on from there. So I went to John Edwards and um, started off with him. I love John Edwards down yeah. at Guildford. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the boxers Shad. down at Guildford. Yeah, exactly, yeah. No, John's fantastic. I, I've seen him do a lot of work with some of the pros. I've seen yeah. him in the corner with Jake Ball, Felix Cash, and yeah. the man knows his boxing. Do you know what? He is, he's so clued up on everything that you can trust him with anything and you know that he's going to be all right. He, he, you know that if he puts you into a fight, you know you're going to be safe, or if he tells you to, to do a certain thing, you're going to be all right doing it. You've just got to... With, with a coach and a boxer, you have to build up so much trust. And with him, I trust him 100%. And I, I'll just let him guide me, and he'll guide me to obviously hope for success. Achievements to date? I know there's a little having a box cut winner sitting in front of me. <laughs> to be honest with you, that, that was my biggest achievement. I know it's not the, the biggest one you, you, can, you can get, obviously, but with me, I was injured. I was injured a lot, and I... I think it was about a year and a half I wasn't allowed to punch with my left hand because my hand was broken in three places. So I was turning up to training and I was only ever using my right hand. So obviously I couldn't participate, couldn't box, anything like that. I was medically unfit to box. Um, and John said, there's a Harringay box cut around the corner. And this was as soon as I had my cast off. I had no sparring, only pads. And um, John said, look, let's just go into it and just see how you do. At the end of the day, it's experience. So I went into it and luckily stopped stopped two out of two and then the final fight I won it unanimously so with that it was we've done with, with no sparring barely even hitting a pad off my left hand and then I went and won it so that was definitely my biggest achievement that's what I'm proud of and I think John is as well. In terms of sparring I know it's a bit difficult getting sparring for especially in the female game at the moment yeah, that, yeah. but but you're getting around a bit you're sparring some of the GB girls? Yeah yes yeah, so you've got the GB girls you've got the Pink Tyson. Oh, um, love a bit of Pink Tyson, me. Yeah, the Pink Tyson, sparring her. And to be honest with you, I spar the boys as well um, down down the gym. To be honest with you, it does, I don't really mind who I spar. It's hard getting your weight. You know, be, being a female, 51 to 54 kilos, it's quite hard finding girls to spar at that weight. But um, I'll jump in there with anyone just to have a move around, try and get some rounds in. And obviously, John, he takes me takes me about. Where was we the other day? We were around Portsmouth the other day. Um, had um, spied Ellie Scotland the other day. Um, I've had like, loads of rounds with Pink Tyson, and just just get as much as what I can to them today. What do you want to achieve out of the game? What's the ambition? What's the goal? What's the target? If, if, if I'm completely honest, I, one day I want to be a world champion, and um, I think that it's just step by step. You've just got just just got to do what you can to get there. And the thing is, is boxing's a lifestyle, and although I haven't really had my time yet, I think. I would have if, if I wasn't injured as much as what I was at the start of my career. But from now, all, all you'll see is a hope is me go up and up and up. Because um, I, I give the sport absolutely everything. As I say, boxing's a lifestyle. It's the sacrifices you make to get where you want to be. I sacrifice everything for boxing. I don't go out partying. I miss family occasions. I do everything to possibly get where I want to be. And if, as long as I'm training as hard as what I am every single day, which is what I'm doing, I believe I will get there. I'm going to throw my name in the hat early days. When you need a belt carrier, <laughs> when you need someone just carrying your belts around for you, yeah, I'm exactly. your man. I, I will pose with them myself a bit. That's but right, 
<laughs> but that would be there. Role models in and out of the sport. Um, I, do you know what? I, obviously, a role model and, and when who you get inspired of. I honestly get inspired of so many people that it's not even to do with just just boxing. Obviously, in in female boxing, Katie Taylor's a massive part of of my hungerness for the sport. I see what she, she's like an animal inside that ring, and that's somebody that I've always aspired to be like inside the ring. Um, but. You, I find like inspiration of everybody and, and anybody in different stories and it's not even to do with sport it's just talking to people day in day out and, and seeing different stories and what people can overcome that's what gives me inspiration and they're who I class with role models. Now I've been racking my brain thinking about nicknames because you haven't really got one at the moment yet. No I haven't really no. So. How does Laura no gain no pain? <laughs> That's a good little nickname, I like that. I like that, yeah, it's better than what, I've heard the other one that goes around, it's Punish Your Pain. Yeah, that's right, yeah, they, they, they Punish Your Pain, that's, um, that came about, um, I was on like a development camp for, for GB and uh, I think it was either the doctor or the physio, one of them said, said it, and I was like, oh Laura, the Punish Your Pain, and that's where that one came from, but yeah, that's good, no pain, no gain. Well, you're a young lady, 20 years old, yeah. we're going to be following the journey, is there anyone you want to give shout outs to? Um, I've got a couple of um, really good sponsors to be honest with you. I've got, I've got to give a massive thank you first of all um, to my good father Simon. He he's helped me a lot um, to sort of help help me with funding and things like that. Um, you've got Ferros, um, who's also called Simon. You've got David Jakes. There's a few of the other ones as well um, that just sort of help me with sort of kit and things like that. But I just want to say a massive thank you to them. Well, we as the Pep Talk boys are going to follow the journey, but if people watching this want to follow you yep. how can they hit you up um, so my Instagram is Laura Payne 20 um, so Laura then Payne's obviously spelled P-A-I-N so Laura Payne 20 my Twitter is Laura Rose Payne so if you just follow those um, that's where you'll get all up to date with, with everything that's going on peeps watch this space I've got a funny feeling we're going to be seeing a lot more of Laura no gain no pain <laughs> the punisher pain however you want to describe her <laughs> Lovely lady, thank you for your time today. You. Hope you have the best of luck and good luck with the ABAs. Thank you very much, I appreciate it.